Extreme heat is about to hit much of British Columbia, and tonight the province is announcing new measures to keep people safe. Government officials were heavily criticized for not doing enough during the June heat dome that killed more than 500 people, and they've made some big changes. CTV's Penny Daflos is live at St. Paul's Hospital tonight, where many people were admitted during that June heat wave. Penny, you've been digging into this issue for weeks now, so how is this response different than the last heat wave? Well, Scott, they're really trying to keep people from ending up in the hospital in the first place, but also more importantly from succumbing to the heat. So they're really doing a lot of public education around the warning signs for when the heat starts to be dangerous, providing more support to get people to cooling centers, and more importantly, more planning, staffing, and resources for ambulance paramedics. Community centers have once again transformed into cooling centers in Vancouver as yet another heat wave settles into the region. And the city of Surrey has implemented its own plan with a network of cooling and clean air facilities. We have all hands on deck to get British Columbians through the heat. Provincial health officials aren't mincing words or taking anything for granted during this heat wave. We're asking everyone to plan ahead. Find out how you and your loved ones can spend time in a cool or air-conditioned space. Even though temperatures won't be as high as the record-breaking heat dome where nearly 600 people died from the heat. One of the main differences uh, between this and late June is that we're that much further away from the solstice. So the, the nights are actually a little bit longer now than they used to be, and that's going to make a bit of a difference. There are many other differences, most notably around planning. The ambulance service is staffing up with managers and support staff to help frontline paramedics. Health authorities have provided fans to some high-risk people, and there is some free transportation to cooling centres. Health authorities also realize they have to better explain the risks. This concept about how people in the lower mainland are not acclimatized to heat and they have not adapted their environment and that's why we are vulnerable even though these temperatures may not seem you know as hot as they are. I think we forget it exhausts us we have to be really careful in this heat. We're not used to it being that hot we don't have air conditioning we have a fan and so we use that. Drinking water even when you're not thirsty making sure to cool down and taking care if you're on certain medications are key and officials need everyone to pitch in by checking on seniors people with disabilities and those living alone. Not everybody uh, is connected to our services so you know that that is why we make the, the appeal out to the public because it, it, we, we simply don't have the capacity so lots of improvements in the wake of the heat dome and an acknowledgement that the public needed more and better information about exactly how to deal with the heat and you can expect that future heat wave responses are actually going to be based on a lot of the measures that you're seeing right now one final note it can be a really fine line between feeling overheated and tripping over into heat stroke and that's dangerous because it often comes with disorientation so best to really take it easy try to keep cool during this heat wave scott all right good advice thanks patty